Ninja ni Mudwini Afsheni Tovela. And uh, guys who are here with IRM and this uh, IRM will be focusing on assignment number two. IRM 1501 and will be giving you assignment number two. Assignment number two state do research. Do research on the constitutional right to have access to healthy care services in South Africa and write a two to three page essay on the topic. In your answer, refer to relevant case law. That is the, that is the question, right? So we are going to do a research about the constitutional right to have access to a healthy care services. Here on your answer, don't forget that when you answer, it's very much to say control, and then you must put aerial, aerial on your answer sheet, and then you must put aerial search track, right? I'm just giving you an example, and you must make sure that everything is justified, right? Okay, let's start. The first thing that you need is a healthy care, it's the constitution of South Africa. You go to section 27, right? Section 27 states that everyone has the right to access section 27 subsection 1 everyone has the right to access to paragraph 1 healthy care services including reproductive health care don't forget what the subsection 2 mean subsection 2 it states very clear that the state must take reasonable legislative and other measures within its available resources to achieve the progressive realization of each of these rights, right? So those two things are most important, right? You will need a Healthy Act on your site. So you know Healthy Act, it's a number 61 of 2003, National Healthy Act, right? You will need it uh, on your site. Uh, in, this, uh, in this research, you will need it. The second thing you'll need the patient's rights charter. The patient's right charter. You will need it. The patient's right charter. You will need it. Right? Don't forget, guys, that this is just a research. Uh, uh, this is just an advertisement. If you want to watch the full uh, assignment, you'll go and come and click a join. After clicking join, you'll come and click current assignments then you will see the current assignment on the join. So those are the current assignment after joining. You will see the current assignment. So you will see IRM in full, right? Let's go. There are many assignments uh, inside. So you'll see all the exclusive assignments. So all assignments are there. If they are one of the assignments that you are doing is not on, on, on the current assignment, then that, ask that assignment and we'll upload the video of that assignment as soon as possible. Remember, you only request the document. Remember, you only request the document when you have, when you are part of our membership, right? When you are viewing on our membership, you pay 99 rand, then you will able to access, will able to give you all the documents that we have used for this assignment, uh, right? It says that section 27, subsection 1, and subsection 2 of the Bill of Rights of the Constitution, and 26 affirm the fundamental right of everyone to access healthy care services with an obligation on the state to take reasonable legislative and other measures within its available resources to achieve the progressive realization of this right. The National Healthy Act number 61 of 2003 and the Patients' Right Charter are examples of the legislative and policy measures towards the progressive realizations of this right. Right? This is the best introduction. Let's go and put that uh, introduction. As you can see, I've put that best introduction. Then after putting introduction, uh, you must come here. Let me do it again so that maybe you couldn't see. You must come here. Uh, make sure that you put the reference. It's very much important. Since you are doing IRM, I know that you may be doing for the first time. Some of you may not know how to reference. You just come to the reference, then you insert a, a, insert a footnote, then you write in a Constitution of South Africa 
1996, then full stop. Make sure you put a full stop. This is very much important. Make sure that you put a full stop. All your footnotes must end with a put with a full stop. All right? Okay. Then okay, I've put maybe you want to put a bibliography when you're done. I'm just saying bibliography. Uh, when you want to put a bibliography when you're done, you just come and say constitution of South Africa 1996. You do not put the full stop on the bibliography. You do not put bibliography. You do not put a full stop. Don't forget that. So let's go. The second step, you'll come and check what is the preamble of this act. Remember, this is the act of the national. This is the national uh, health act. Then you go and check what is the preamble of that. They provide a socio-economic injustices. Uh, they recognize those things and then they are balancing those things. Uh, then with this one, these are the, are the, are the, are the, are the, at the, at the, at the preamble. So they are very much important that you come and summarize uh, this uh, preamble. That what is the preamble? What is the preamble of this act? So it's very much important that you summarize, right? So you must come and summarize. If you are a good paraphraser, you will see that uh, when you paraphrase that preamble, you will come and say it is preamble. The NHA recognizes the need to improve the quality of life of all citizens and to free the potential of each person. The NHA aims to provide uniformity of health services across the country by establishing a national health system that encompasses both private and public providers and that delivers the best possible health services in an equitable manner within available resources. The right to access healthy care services also extended to children as outlined in section 28 of the Bill of Rights. Then that's when you are a good paraphraser from that uh, preamble, right? Um, let's go forward. I'm still saying this now. This is just an advertisement. If you want to see the full video, you must come and click uh, join. Then you come to the current assignment. Then you join on the 99 if you have not joined. If you have already joined, you have seen some of the assignments that we have put here, then there's no problem. You just come in the current assignment, then you continue with watching those assignments. Right? Step three is to find the challenges. You know, the access to healthy care, you will need these documents. I told you that if you are, when you are part of my membership, you will... Uh, you will request this old document and I'll send to you and tell you which case it is. So this document is very much important. Then the first thing that you summarize is the statistics of South Africa, right? And um, I will give example by 2016 general household survey statistics, right? The majority of people in South Africa depend on public health care facilities to assess the right, their right to health care services. A small number of people are able to afford private medical care. In its 2016 general household survey statistics, South Africa reported that only 17 of every 100 South Africans have medical insurance. And SMN is 45 million or 82 out of every 100 South Africans fall outside the medical aid net and are largely depend on public health care. The number of people who depend on the public health system in South Africa is likely to be much higher as a number of people who undocumented also rely primarily on the health, public health system to access healthy services. So this is the this is the statistics. You must put the statistic right. Then it means that when you are done with a with a introduction here, you will come and put the statistics. As I've said that I've used the 2016. You can. Use much uh, recently, if there's a recently mine, I depend on 2016, which is also a good statistics because it's just things that happened a few years back, right? After statistics, you go and we push, we go on. 
there are many cases that we can like this case the court held that the responsibility for making the difficult decisions of fixing the healthy budget and deciding upon the priorities that needed to be met lay with political organs and the medical authorities and added that the court would be slow to interfere with such decision if they were rational and taken in good faith. The court concluded that it, has, it had not been shown that the state failure to provide renal dialysis facilities for all persons suffering from chronic renal failure constitute a breach of its constitutional obligation. That is the case, the case that we have. We have many cases. So guys, if I have said, as I've said last time, if you want to be part of us, come and click join. Then on our current assignment, you'll see all the assignments that you can with 99. Then we'll be able to view this IRM in full when we answer this question in full. For now, guys, I'll leave you here. Then we'll continue with the full assignment on the, on the current assignment. You go, you will see this video. Then we'll be able to continue together. Thanks for watching guys and if you want to continue don't forget to go to the current assignment where you continue to watch all the exclusive assignments there. If you have another assignment about another then you know that you will post to us then we will upload such assignment. Have a good day.